lettering is a big part of technical drafting. In technical drafting, most of the lettering is done in freehand. The lettering is necessary to completely describe or to provide detailed specifications. In this video, we will learn lettering, so at least we have the basic knowledge in lettering. Lettering is one of the basic requirements if you like to get into technical drafting, so as in architecture and engineering industry. It is better if you are now well exposed and well oriented to the basic lettering standards which are often used in technical drafting. Hi and welcome to this channel. Before we begin, I would like to thank all of my subscribers in this channel. I hope that the informations that I am sharing will help you somehow. In this channel, I also share time-lapse drawing both in artistic and technical. Thank you so much for your support. Lettering is a process of forming letters, numbers, and other characters in technical drafting. Lettering is used as a form of communication, and as applied in the drawing, it adds beauty if it is well printed. Wow! Likewise, it would destroy the appearance of the drawing once it is not done well. In architectural or mechanical drawing, lettering is defined as writing of titles, subtitles, dimensions, and etc. There are four groups of letters, from the simplest to the most complex letters. Gothic letters is the simplest and readable among the four. It is a particular font for engineering drawing. Gothic letters is a single stroke sans serif letters sans serif means without serif, and serif means a slight projection at the end of every stroke of the letter. It has two forms. First is the commercial copy, which is basically used for advertisement. And the second is the single stroke copy, which is typically used for engineering purposes only. Roman letters. Roman letters is next to Gothic letters in terms of rapidity of construction. The thickness of each letters is not uniform. It has serif and it is used for books, magazines, and newspapers. Spanish script. It is considered as the artistic. It is purposely used for certificates, diplomas, citations, and invitation cards. And last is the Old English. This style is the most artistic among the four group of letters. Similar to Spanish script, it is also used for certificates, diplomas, citations, and invitation cards. In architectural working drawing, we use lettering. These are some of the characteristics of good lettering. Lettering should be legible. Lettering should be easy to create. And lettering should use styles acceptable for traditional drawing. That is why in architectural drawing, commonly used lettering style in lettering is Gothic letters because Gothic letters are highly legible and very easy to create. Freehand lettering ability has little relationship to writing ability. That is why I can say that lettering is both drawing and writing. For five years of being a draftsman and six years of teaching technical drafting, I do always use freehand in some of my architectural drawings. But when we do large format lettering, I use measuring tools and lettering is through drawing tool. I know that most of the architects, engineers, and draftsmen prefer to use freehand lettering with minimal speed in their drawing. Many of them seldom use lettering tools and lettering guides in their drawing because using these tools consume time. Lettering is easy. You can learn to letter even if you have terrible handwriting. That is by just following some necessary aspects of learning to letter. First is by knowing the forms and characteristics of letters. To make good letters, you need to have a clear mental image of the correct shapes. Second, consider the proportion and spacing of letters and in words for legibility. 
example of common mistakes in lettering are lettering style are not uniform. This happens when the letters used have different style. For example, some letters are lettered using Roman style and the rest are lettered using Gothic style. The lettering height are not uniform. This typically happens when the drafter is not using guidelines. Guidelines are drawn almost invisible or extremely light. This is to keep the lettering height uniform. Remember this. Lettering is easier if you remember to use guidelines. For the guidelines, we have cup line, which is located on top, waistline, which is located in the middle, and baseline, which is located at the bottom. Most drawn lettering text height is 0.3 cm or 3 mm with equal spacing in between letters, in between words, and in between rows. The lettering angle or inclination are not uniform. These are some of the letters are drawn blind, while some are vertical. And lettering thickness are not uniform. This is when the drafter uses more than a stroke in lettering. In order to create consistent thickness of letters, the drafter should use only one stroke when lettering. If we can just get to it, just Third is practice, practice, and practice. Because when you practice, lettering makes perfect. Moving on, let us discuss the forms and proportions of letters. Letters have two forms. These are capital form or uppercase letters and lowercase letters. Uppercase letters is a form of letters which is basically used for architectural working drawings. Lowercase letter, on the other hand, is a form of letters which is rarely used in architectural drawing. Letters have three general proportions, compressed, extended, and normal. Compressed is applied when the space is limited. The letters are printed with closer distance and its width is narrower than the normal size. Extended. This proportion is applied when there is more space. The width of the letter is more wider than the height. And normal. It is applied when there is normal space. The letter is printed in the normal size. And for the two general proportion of thickness, we have the bold paste and the light paste. Bold paste letters are printed with heavy stem, and light paste letters, on the other hand, is printed with thin stem. These are the things that we should know when we do lettering, especially in architectural working drawings. And remember this, lettering can be produced as easily and as swiftly as scratchy letters by using the correct techniques. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching.